Hello everybody, Shasnab8 here, and I am here with a brand new survival world. Um, yeah. I have mods. Okay, no cheats. Okay, not gonna move until the world's loaded. No cheats, no nothing. I've never played this before. I really hope I don't die. Okay, so I'm playing with some kind of mod pack. Oh shoot, I still have my uh, infected skin from the uh, other world. Uh, oh god, what am I even supposed to do? So, from what I understand, there are dangerous creatures here, but I don't exactly know what they are. But I'm not going to worry about that yet. I'm just going to dupe. 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 Let me get one more piece. I don't know what I'm supposed to expect here. I might install a few more mods actually, because I have other mods I want to play with. Yeah, I'm going to get some other mods. Here, let me get the rest of this tree, and then I'll get the other mods. And then I'll install the other mods I have. And then we will try this again. I will be right back, guys. Okay, I am back. I added a few new mods. Saplings are going to be really important because I'm planning on, I'm just going to make like a survival bunker. So I'm just going to turn, I'm just going to make a shovel. So the mods I installed, uh, some of them are like really small, but I will quickly mention what mods I have installed. Uh, let me pull them up. Okay, I can't find them. But I do know I installed the Twilight Forest mod, which you can only get to with a diamond, so I don't know, maybe escaping there will help in some way. But I need flowers and water to do so, so problem one. Problem two, every single mob here could become infected, and they are very, very good. And the infection thing that you'll see in a sec, it spreads really quickly. Like, really quickly. And I don't have any food, so why am I running right now? I know it gets bad at night, and I know it's much, much worse at villages, so I'm going to avoid villages to the best of my ability. And 
Actually, wait, hold up. Going to build some doors and turn this area here into a little compound. But I'm also going to need sand to do that for glass. God, I miss nether my netherite tools. <laughs> I haven't played. Uh, I I don't. I'm not gonna play more. I'm only playing more Minecraft right now because I've just got. I recently got Forge and I wanted to try some things out. Um. Yeah, I know you're probably saying your first job is to get, like, better tools and swords. My first job is to build something I can survive in, people. Because the only way I'm going to be able to do anything in this world is by finding a way to survive the nights. So that's what I'm going to have to do. And trust me, I've seen how bad these nights can get. Surviving them won't be easy. Literally, I saw in a, like a I lo I did a little bit more research to see like how the infection works because I didn't know exactly what it was in the beginning. So I looked some stuff up because I wanted to figure out how it works so I could actually you know have a chance of surviving. Poppies. Okay, perfect. So why am I so excited about flowers? So if I get grass blocks, which I am right here, it won't be too hard to do that. I could build a portal to get out of here. Like, far out of here. Which, you know, would be lovely. I have to look also for any deformed creatures, because a, a single deformed creature could mean infection, and it means I'm running, just leaving as fast as I can. I, I bet my glass is done by now, or enough of it anyways. One more piece. Perfect. Oh my god, that startled me. Okay, airlock. Good. The benefit of an airlock is if there's an infected creature out here, I can hide. I can see it. Oh god, it's getting dark. I don't have any torches yet, meaning I might need to cook wood, which I don't want to do. 
but a single infected out here means I could die, so I just might have to just suck it up and go inside. I'm just gonna have to suck it up and go inside. I don't want to cook wood, but I might have to if I if I need to, I will. All right, one and what the heck, one more. Two. All right, and then All right, and then I'll put And I'll make some torches out of these. Oh, wait, do I have wool? Shoot, if I get one more wool before night falls, I might be able to... Make a bed and sleep. Should have been my first priority, actually, looking at it. Go, 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 go. Hurry, I gotta go. Thank you. Sorry to kill your friend. Okay, so, I think I've survived night one. Let's cook some of this. Just cook it, I guess. Okay. Perfect.
Alright, so my plan for my mine right now is basically have a viewing window back here. So that I can see if monsters are coming. Ow, ow, oh my god, that hurt. Where did that come from? Oh, creepers. Buy double doors instead of single doors. I don't know, I just thought double doors would be cool. Much, much safer now. I might make this go down another two blocks here. So wait, how on earth does... My only question is now is how does the infection start? Hold up, wait. I'll be back in a sec. I want to figure out how this starts. Okay, so it doesn't tell you how it starts. You basically, they just start through, like, random mob infestations. Like, they'll just spawn randomly, basically. They're really hard to kill some of them. Creeper. And they tend to spawn at night is also what it seems like, so... Perfect. Oh, right, I've been watching the last episode of WandaVision later tonight. My rule is basically the more I go outside, the more danger I'm in, so don't go outside. First thing I'm making is a bucket. Why? So I can start a farm down here. And then I'm just gonna cook more glass so I have more. So I have like a big open area, I guess. I mean, I could make a pickaxe, but like, what's the point in doing that? I'm literally just gonna build the portal like right here for now. I don't know where these guys are gonna pop up. I don't even actually know how this mod works like at all. You know, I'll just put a torch here for now and I'll figure it out later.
eventually I want to... Ooh, that is a good thing I did that when I did. Uh, extend this airlock more. Oh, and I'm out of torches. Okay, I guess I need to make more sticks. Guess 28 is enough. I will build the farm down here in this area. Um, but yeah. That should be enough for an axe and a sword. Perfect. My glass! I'm not dealing with this today. I love how, like, it just goes off and I'm like, My glass! Oh, God, someone's gonna, someone's gonna clip that, aren't they? I don't know. Wait, is it night? Sleeping. My door's open. I'm too lazy to go get up and chant. I'm gonna die for that, aren't I? At least I'm not doing this in hardcore. If I was doing this in hardcore, I would be dead already, most likely. You guys hear that? that I'm getting nervous because I keep hearing oh I got a bow 
putting that in a chest. Because if you don't know what the infected sound like, they have a distinct sound that sounds exactly like what we were hearing earlier with the... So I am a little bit on edge now because I do know that they are, there is some kind of infected and these things can spread very, very quickly if I'm not careful. So I'm going to be careful. Alright, next uh, thing I'm making is iron tools and gear. Starting with a pickaxe, followed by a uh, armor and a sword. Because the infected, these infected things are strong, trust me. Uh, I'll put a link for the mod if I can find a link in the description, and it will go over in depth in the mod. I've only seen a few seconds of what these can do, uh, mainly because one of my friends was the one who showed me this mod and recommended I play it. Just kidding, that is a major lie. Um, yeah, there's an infected up there. There's an infected somewhere around here. Um, I'm scared. Help. Please send help. Uh, I'm making a sword. I'm making a sword. I'm making armor. I'm going to hunt that thing down, and I'm going to kill it. That is objective one now, because those things, if that thing spreads, I we are so unbelievably dead. Like, this whole thing is making me very, very on edge. Oh my god, my hand just twitched. I don't normally get nervous twitches, but my hand apparently does now. I actually don't know why my hand did that. Ugh, I need to update my infected skin or just change it off for when I'm recording normal videos. I'm too lazy to do it now, but it will be fixed in the next episode of this, if there is a next episode of this. It depends on if you guys like it or not. It's either below me or above me, and I don't know which way it is, so I'm going to assume it's below. Um, Because I don't think there's much above me. Yeah, I'm saying it's below. It's going to be below me. Oh, I did not like that sound. Are they on the surface now? Wait a minute. Are they on the surface? They're on the surface. I'm dead. Although, they did add new weapons to the game, although there's only two of them, like a really powerful bow, and then something else. And it's like a scythe or something. We have to kill a crap ton of infected to get it, and you can only kill, like, certain kinds. Yeah, do you guys hear that? The, uh, like, weird sounds? That is coming from some kind of infected. I don't know where it is, though, which is what's... Making me nervous. I want to create something. I want obsidian. Because the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this island off. I'm going to make a wall of fire around it, basically. Well, the only way on or off would be some kind of bridge, mainly, most likely. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Ugh. 
Uh, warning, these infected most like are like really bloody and gory. Well, decently bloody and gory. Uh, I do know that there's like a thing that adds more mobs and something else that adds more a few more items. But I don't know exactly what kinds of items they add. Okay, perfect. Nah, I don't even know about the boots. Okay, uh, I'll just get some flint later. I, I feel comfortable, more comfortable now, which is the big, big thing I was worried about. Yeah, it's below me. I'm just worried about digging into this cave and then realizing it's filled with these things. So I'm gonna get all this out of my inventory. It's down here, yep. The thing I'm worried about is what kind of thing is it going to be? I'm gonna get more armor. Um, I'm gonna get the other iron and cook it. Cause there are tons of different kinds of infected and they are all very very deadly in their own ways there is one that can summon lightning um i think my friend mentioned something or well the mod showcase mentioned something about um one that could like summon lightning bolts uh not no that, that could shoot uh these like explosive rocket things well, this entire area is now compromised. Good, 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 good job, Shadow. You absolute idiot. Oh, that's big dumb. Bonk. Okay, we're safe now. And I've got all the sand I can do stuff with now. smelting the rest of that iron and I'm turning it into I'm gonna get some flint and steel um, I'm gonna turn it into armor and flint and steel I'm going for pants next because pants give you the next most protection and then I think it's like boots and helmet Got it.
Let's do this. No, no going back. I'm terrified. I'm like, actually think I'm gonna die here. That is my absolute greatest fear right now. I think it's that way. I saw a little glimpse of a thing, but I don't know. I'm not hearing the demonic space creature anymore. I doubt it despawned, but still nervous. I don't know. Maybe I should spend a day getting my farm set up. I mean, it would be a little more beneficial less worrying about food I guess so I guess I've been doing that today Dirt. I don't really need a nice hoe, I just need something that can work with for now. In a minute, I'll be here in full iron. I'll feel a lot safer. That's much better.
let's grow some food. So for these crops to grow, it needs to be much brighter than this. So we're just gonna... I tend to grow crops in an underground base like this. I'm very good at living in underground bases like this because I have to do it all the time in other survival worlds I do. I don't hear demonic screeching. I scratch that. Not coal. Me, I don't hear any demonic screeching. Any. Here's demonic screeching. Scratch that. I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna be done mining at that area. I'll just use that as a like an evacuation route or something. I need more materials. Exactly the this isn't the best solution, but I don't really know what to do. Um
Oh my god. What is that? Run. Oh my god. I'm 90% sure I'm not right about this, but I really hope I am right about it. Oh! Shields are a thing. You, I don't care about Creeper. Oh my god. Go, go, go. If one monster can do that, I am so dead. There is no way I'm making it out of this alive. Alright, start smelting glass. I'm gonna need as much of it as I can get. I'm gonna go get more sand. Spending this iron on a shovel so I can get that sand quicker, so I can make more glass. I'm gonna make a biodome above the ground for myself, so I can stay safer up there. I don't know, maybe get some sheep. That's the sound I was hearing. It was coming from upstairs, not below, un underground like I thought it was. Thank god I caught it before it got stronger. Oh yeah, wait till we find and count. Wait till we encounter... That was even, even the most powerful those things get. What was that one? Wait, hold up. What was that one called? I have the uh, article open, mob. Uh... Okay, I'm just gonna have to watch the video. I'll be back in a sec, guys. Okay, those were called Lawn Arms, the thing I just encountered.
That was one of the strongest things that can spawn from this pack, apparently. There are six other versions of those. There are other things, and we shouldn't encounter them yet during this episode. But we are... I'm gonna die if I have to encounter more of those. I'm gonna die very, very easily. So first things first, I want to extend the biodome, but I don't know how far I want to make, or how big I want to make my biodome. For now, I'm just going to start with an outline of gla with glass, because that's what I want to make my dome out of. Now that will work. I don't even know how much bigger that's going to get. I don't know. first thing I need to be concerned about is getting this island up to scratch and getting it into a much more defendable fortress. So that will be priority one. Uh, the exit to the biodome I think will be here. I'm just gonna go get some grass and just build this up, I guess. I mean, I could just build a little basement area, which I would love to have. The little piece of glass down there so I can see. Uh, I need more dirt. It's getting dark, I'm gonna sleep. Yes, this is my existence. I'm going to work on getting this biodome done. Because this biodome will save me. Will keep me much, 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 much safer. Guess I'll work for a little bit longer. Now that should be done.
guess mining will have to wait. I guess I'll just use ladders and make the entrance over here somewhere. That works for now. Oh yeah, and these can spawn in any dimension. Um, I'm not sure about the forest yet, uh, the Twilight Forest, but maybe. If they do, I'm in a lot of trouble. Need 
more coal, so I'm going to go get that coal. Okay, 28. That should be more than enough to fuel my furnaces for a while. Don't worry, I'll get back to mining later, but right now my main focus is... Oh shoot, I'm out of sand.
All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to hit the sack. Thank you all so very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, share if you want, and I'll see you on the next one. Just snip it out. Bye.